peroxidy test. What is it? How does it work? How can you use it to take advantage of growing a healthy, luscious beard? Urban nights, urban nights, urban nights. Get it right, keep it tight. Urban nights, urban nights. back to the night's way where we are helping men with grooming health style and fashion so that you can become the best version of yourself and help others around you if you're new to the channel please hit that like button and subscribe don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our latest videos also check us out on some of our other social media platforms such as Facebook TikTok, and Instagram and please as always don't forget to join the conversation. I love to hear what you guys have to say. So drop some comments below. Let's get back into it. So if you're growing your beard and you don't know what a peroxidy test is, you're kind of starting in a, in a deficit. You want to be able to start with as much knowledge as you possibly can so you can grow out the most healthiest, luscious beard that you possibly can. So the peroxidy test is a way in which we are going to determine which products we should and should not use on our hair. Now, there's three different types of peroxy, high, medium, and low. Now, you witness me pluck out or pluck a piece of hair from my beard, drop it into some water to see exactly what my peroxy is. Now, once you determine what your peroxy is, you will be able to figure out which products works best for you. Now, I already know my peroxy test, but let's dig deeper into what you are. What is low porosity, medium porosity, and high porosity? Well, low porosity means when you drop your water, when you drop your hair inside the water, it kind of hovers right above the top. That's low porosity, meaning that when you go outside or you take a shower, you wet your hair, the water just sits right on top. It doesn't go inside the water, it doesn't go inside the hair, you go outside. Let, get water on your hair, your face, whatever, or your beard. This is going to sit on top and shake it off. Water is gone. You got the mid. That means the water, the, when you drop your hair inside the water, you let it sit. It's kind of going to be floating, not necessarily floating, but sitting in the middle of the water. That means your hair can absorb water very well, right? Uh, and then if you have a high porosity, that means your hair sinks straight to the bottom. What that means is if you go outside, you get your hair wet, your hair is gonna suck it in, and it's gonna essentially like shrink or get matted down. What happens when you have a high porosity, your hair tends to dry out faster. What happens when you have a low porosity, it means your hair doesn't necessarily get absorbed moisture the best. That means you have to do a lot of different things to make sure that your hair is gonna be absorbing the moisture. So that means you're gonna to have to do things like take showers, often so that your hair is actually the pores open it up so the moisture is inside then you want to make sure you're using items such as oil products your beard butters beard balms things of that nature to lock in the moisture if you are in the mid level you're going to be able to use pretty much whatever works for you it's really going to boil down to your method and that's really what works for all three it's going to be the method followed by the actual product that you're using once you figure out your peroxidy, then you work on your method or your regimen, and then you add your products inside, you wanna get a better turnaround. Now, I already know mine is a low. I can grab the water, and then we can take a look and show you exactly what that looks like. But with the low porosity, like I said before, for me, it's all about taking those showers, using you know uh, a mist machine, or you know, something that's gonna hydrate my room so that I get that water floating inside the area. I just moved to Texas, uh, Houston, Texas that is. Houston is full of humidity, so I don't have to necessarily worry about using a humidity machine in the summertime because man, you step outside, it's humid, right? So that humidity is going to help keep moisture in my hair, in my beard, which is gonna allow that to really start to flow and grow the way I would like, right? followed by my methods of combing, brushing, and using my derma roller, my beard is gonna look on point. Now, for those who have the mid-level, 
Listen, man, it's all about your method. Whether you use an oil base like our beard balm, or you use something that is water based like a gel with aloe products or something of that nature, you're gonna be fine. But it's gonna boil down to your method. Or are you actually taking care of your beard? Do you have a regimen that you're following? If you don't have that, it doesn't matter. If you have a high peroxide, that means you don't want to necessarily use a oil-based product. You want to use a water-based product because that water is going to help open up your beard. Now, at the same time, your hair will dry out. So you want to use a water-based product, but you also kind of want to use an oil base too so that you have a mixture of the two, right? So you, you may use some a mist to actually open up the beard, and then you use an oil or a butter to actually seal that in because your hair will shrink up and make your beard look smaller than what it actually is. So you want to make sure, you want to make sure that your beard is fully hydrated, fully moisturized so that it is shining and flowing the way it should. Let's go take a look at what my peroxide test looks like at a low level. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that but that is the hair floating right up top. That, my friend, is low porosity. You see that? So if your hair is floating something like that after doing a test, low porosity. If it falls down to the bottom, high porosity. If it's in the middle, just hanging in the middle, that means you are in the mid-level. I wanna thank you for taking time to view this video. I hope you guys got some great information out of this. Hopefully you guys have been able to find what your porosity is. Please let, uh, leave a comment below and let me know what your porosity is and what your regimen is, what your method and style is of taking care of your beard. Thank you again for viewing this video. And you, you are dope. Urban Knights Co., the modern gentleman's armor.